Welcome to the last video of 2012 that is actually the first episode of 2013. Picasso was a little creaky while warming up, as he tends to be, so we went nice and slow. I decided to work on the halt for a little bit. Always ask for a halt on a straight line, not on a curve. We are both still figuring out how to organize ourselves. It's important to give the horse enough time to organize their body when you ask for a change. Picasso's head may come up because he didn't have enough time to organize and got a touch out of balance. It's my job to ask for things at the right time so that he has the best chance of doing them correctly. As we go about warming up and working on various things, I try to keep cycling through the exercises I know. Here, we went out on a straight line with a bigger trot. Although his head came up a bit, he stayed pretty steady. So I know that one thing we need to work on is keeping him relaxed and balanced when increasing the energy at the trot. You can do these little tests to see where your horse is at each day, and I guarantee you, you will get different answers every time you ask. This time, when we increased the trot on a straight line, his head and neck did not come up, and he stayed in better balance. So, the left side is better than the right side. Or, I set him up better. Today was an interesting day with Aries. Started out normally, to the left, he was stiffer, as he tends to be. I tried the various exercises I knew to help loosen him up. Bigger circles, smaller circles, more walk, more trot, less walk, less trot, halt, walk transitions, tapping the legs, tapping the belly. Nothing really seemed to get him to loosen up and stretch his head and neck down. So, I let that go for a bit and went to the right. Something Chantel, Manolo's assistant trainer, told me, stuck in my head. The right side will teach the left side. So I checked out how he was going to the right. To the right, he is as he usually is, fairly relaxed and loose. So we went back to the left, and I tried again, and again, no changes. So I had an idea. I had seen Manolo work very close up next to horses before, and thought, maybe I should try that. I had no understanding of how that would help, 
but figured, I'm not going to hurt him, so let's see what happens. I thought, maybe by being closer, I could have a bit more influence on Aerie's position. After a few circles at walk and trot, I noticed Aries stretching down a bit. Not a whole lot, but more than he had yet given that day. Knowing not to ask for too much for too long, I gave Aries more line and sent him back out on a larger circle, away from me. And would you look at that? Instant stretch. And he kept stretching, over and over. So what the heck did I do? I actually had to ask Manolo to explain it to me. When we chatted, he said, by being so close in to Aries, two things were going on. One, I could give him more refined direction on how I wanted him to carry himself. But also, and possibly more important for Aries, by being so close and running with him, I was giving him some security and confidence. So when I sent him back out on the circle, he was better prepared mentally and physically to stretch himself down. Thinking outside the box and taking a chance can have large rewards. Right out of the gate here, does anyone else notice Picasso looks a bit more put together? I didn't really notice this until reviewing the video, but he seems just more together all over as compared to the video from the week before. A while back, a friend told me she'd heard a trainer say once, just get 1% better each day. At the end of 100 days, you'll have a horse that is 100% changed. We all look for big differences, when really, all great change is made up of hundreds of tiny changes. Accept the small changes your horse offers you because they will add up. Next, ask Picasso to canter. Last time we did this, he got playful. I never like to discourage Picasso's joy in life, but sometimes the boy has got to focus. In the past, Picasso has been very rushy coming out of the canner, all out of balance and slightly anxious. I try to get him to come down out of the canner gently and into a nice balanced trot quickly. He is much better at this now than he was even just a month ago. Here I'm experimenting with an exercise I did with Buddy in Australia, asking Picasso to step under and over to the track. The whole exercise is over to the track and straight before halting. Mostly, it's me that needs to learn to do this correctly. Picasso will just do what he's asked. We 
went down the rail and I asked for the halt a few times. I noticed Picasso was getting a bit testy about the pole touching his back legs. I rubbed both back legs with the pole. Even Picasso has days where he needs to be reminded that the pole is nothing to worry about. Then we go off to the right. Since Picasso has problems in both stifles, it makes working him a challenge. Usually he is more painful on one side or the other, but sometimes it's both. And horses are a mess of full-on reversals. Right hind lame could actually be coming from left shoulder pain. His right lead canter seems more difficult for him. He is holding his head and neck further out on the circle. So think of a motorcycle. He's leaning in and compensating by holding his head and neck outside the circle. going around for a little bit, it seemed to me that Aries was a little stiff to the left. So I started with my new exercise of being close into him. Rather than let him go around a little stiff, why not fix it early? A lot of the art of good horse training is seeing an issue and fixing it before it's a problem. I watch these master horsemen and women and think what they are doing looks like magic, when it is merely careful observation backed by loads of experience. That exercise, once again, seemed to help Aries to stretch. But it was tough for the poor guy to stay focused with all the mares in the pasture running around like crazy women. I've been working a little bit on getting Aries to be more responsive with tapping his legs. Eventually, I'd like him to be as responsive as Picasso, but baby steps. Here I ask the inside hind foot to step a little more when I tap on it. He does this nicely, so we move on. I have to remind myself to not make these turns too sharp. It's easy for me to get focused on what I'm asking for and forget where I'm going. I hadn't yet needed to be close into Aries tracking to the right, but in the interest of balance, I did the exercise anyway. He stayed pretty loose, so we didn't do very much of it. boys were both better than they had been the week before. This was a very nice way to close out 2012.
Next year, I have some big plans for Aries. I'd like to take him to some events so that more people can meet and get to know this amazing horse. Thank you all for watching and contributing to this project. I deeply appreciate your insights and support, and I look forward to what next year may bring. Happy New Year's, everybody.